All right, guys, push it on here. And we're on the bed today, which means I got some good stuff. Um, this is from the last couple of weekends. So there's going to be a decent amount of stuff and some funny stories. So, yeah, let's get started. So both times we're at the same flea market on different weekends. The first one, I actually took my best friend Ashley to it. Um, she lives up in Massachusetts and she was visiting for the weekend. And one of the points I had was going to the flea market. So me and her are walking around for a little bit. We come across this one booth with a bunch of toys. And the first thing I find is this Luke doll from the Dukes of Hazard. Here come the Duke, Luke and Bo. This is Daisy and away they go. From the Dukes of Hazard collection. Help! You can pretend she's stuck up in a tree. Luke and Bo gotta set her free. Where are coming? Up goes Bo with a boost, and down comes Daisy from her room. All's well? Get in well. From the Dukes of Hazard collection, Luke, Bo, and Daisy, each sold separately by Mego. So he's in he's in pretty rough shape. Um, I don't know if you can like fully close the shirt, and his leg actually broke off, so there's some glue and tape there. So I'm just using this as a display piece. I'm not gonna like play with it or anything, but yeah, first, no, cool first pickup. Then the next movie we go to has a bunch of comic books, and she's super into like superheroes and stuff. So she's digging around there for a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna look too. And then I come across this old Who Framed Roger Rabbit one. And the Scooby-Doo one. <laughs> so I thought they were pretty cool. They were like, it was like two for a dollar. So I figured why not? Because Hoover and Roger Rabbit is one of my favorite movies. So yeah. Cool. All right, guys. I forgot like one thing while I was at the flea market with Ashley. These back and future Pac-Man gum packets. They're like five bucks with both of them. So yeah. Then we went to the one that was closer to the, my to my house, which is like maybe 20, 30 minutes away from it. And we're walking around that one for a little bit. She finds a couple more combat books and like some bracelets and stuff. And we come across this one guy who has a bunch of Pokemon stuff and a bunch of video game stuff. And she also likes Pokemon. So, um, and on the end of the table, there's a bunch of consoles. And one of them was an original Xbox. You may have been wondering what this draped device was here. Uh, this is the Xbox. And so uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. By creating Windows, by creating Windows in 1983, a multitasking graphical user interface environment that runs on MS-DOS based computers along with Windows NT and Windows 2000, completely self-contained operating systems that feature networking, uh, symmetric multi-processing, multi-threading, and uh, security, Bill, you've certainly revolutionized the technology we know today. So, with the controller and the the plug-in wire, it was forty bucks. So I figured, why not? He said he said it fully works. He tested everything before he came to the flea market. So I had his word on that. And when I got home, tested it, and it worked. But it didn't come with the TV cable. So the next day, me and Ashley went to the mall, and one of the things I did was grab a TV cable for it at the video game store. So it works. There's actually some saved data on it. If I can remember correctly, it was originally uh, like Activision Anthology, uh, a couple of, like Blitz games, and I don't remember the rest. There's a couple more in there, just games that I had, because I got this like maybe two weeks ago. So yeah. Super cool. Um, keep in mind, if you want to get it, you better have the space for it, because this thing is a beast. Like, look up Behemoth in the dictionary, you'll find a picture of this. So, yeah. Finally got an original, original Xbox. Then the next weekend, me and my grandpa went to went back to that flea market. Same one where I got the Luby doll in the comics. Comics. So, we go there. We're walking. I'm walking around for a little bit. And I'm not really finding anything major i come across this one guy that has a bunch of video games and they're all reasonably priced so the first thing i find was zelda 2 <laughs> i mean to get this for a little bit and pack my real 2 for the original xbox <laughs>
complete. So together, this is about 20 bucks. So yeah. Then I come upon another guy that has a whole bunch of video games. It was basically just one of those guys that just brings an entire video game to a, a convention or a flea market. So the first thing I find is Starsky and Hutch for the GameCube. And the next one is Gex 3. Coming soon, The Wizard of Oz 2000. Which is also complete. These together were about 25, so yeah, I've been meaning to get the the, uh, the GameCube version, and I always want to try out some of the later Gex games, so yeah. And the next booth I went to, it was just a whole bunch of toys and bins, and in it was this box DeLorean. It was like three bucks, so I figured why not. Nice thing to put on the wall. And the next one I went to had a whole bunch of Wii games and Xbox 360 and PS3 games. And they were basically five bucks a piece. So the first one that I got was Boom Blocks, which is in terrible shape. Yeah! It is complete. Um, I heard somewhere that this game is basically just Jenga meets Angry Birds and me loving both growing up. I, I kind of wanted to try it out. I mean, it's okay, just it's not, nothing to write home about. And the next one is Prince of Persia Rival Swords. The prince made his way around the tall and blasted district, haunted by visions of his past. The dark side to the world that spent many decades was now reduced to symbols. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet. Doesn't have the manual. I actually didn't know there was a Prince of Persia game on the Wii. I mean, it's okay. Besides Rayman, it's the only Ubisoft franchise I like. So this is like 10 bucks. So I figured why not. Then the next booth I went to, um, it's one that I get a whole bunch of like um, Sonic, Mario, Angry Birds toys. And this time is actually pretty cool. Um, I got a, two plushies and a little car. First plush is Huey from DuckTales. Because I'm a huge DuckTales fan. And the next plush I got there was Panchito Pistoles. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Disney characters, no doubt. <laughs> and fun fact, um, he was actually voiced by the father. His first voice actor was actually the father of the little boy in Herbie Goes Bananas. So that's a super cool fact for you. Because I'm a huge Herbie fan. So, yeah. And the final thing I got at, this, at that booth was this little Amy car. So... All this together was about nine dollars, so yeah. I gotta find Huey and Louie. Then the next booth I went to had a whole bunch of stuffed animals and stuff. And I had this one bin of like miscellaneous ones. And the first thing I see was this big bomb. <laughs> He's in pretty good shape too. Concerning the fact like what year is he? 2010. So about 12 years old. But he's in insanely good shape. And on the way bottom, I also found this red. They were a dollar piece, so I figured why not. Because pretty much like I say, every time I get Angry Birds stuff, um, they're getting really, really hard to find. Especially like the first gen, like original uh, merch line. So yeah, I'm just trying to get as much as I can. And the next set of things is actually my favorite thing I got. This one guy had a whole bunch of... Um, cereal boxes i don't know why but on one of the tables he had all these dukes of hazard uh tv guides they were five bucks each they are like insanely they're insanely good shape so i figured why not and the next thing i saw was this dukes of hazard tv tray yeah, it's a little rough around the edges it was like 20 bucks, he got down to 15. And nice in this type of condition, it's worth like 20 to 30. So, yeah, awesome. Oh, this is what happens when you let me loose with a full wallet. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, bye. See you guys later.